Okay, so we have a couple more definitions related to cardinality of a set. So in the previous video, we uh, defined cardinality, talked about what it is, uh, things like that, did a few examples, also talked about singleton sets uh, and the empty sets, so pretty important notion there. Um, okay, so uh, we also have this notion here, uh, a finite set. So a lot of the sets that we looked at so far, a lot of the examples we've done, they've been examples of finite sets. So a finite set, and also this is a pretty straightforward definition. So a finite set is a set with a finite cardinality. Okay, so no huge surprises there. Um, so remember, cardinality is just the number of elements in a set. So a finite set is a set with a finite number of elements. Okay, so really um, nothing crazy, nothing surprising there. So let's see, uh, example one. So let's say we have a set A, which equals a set containing 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so the cardinality of A is uh, 3. Okay, there's three elements there. So the cardinality is 3, that's finite, finite cardinality, so that's a finite set. Um, how about B equals uh, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 uh, 998, 999, and then we'll stop there. So what about this set? Well, one, two, three, remember dot, dot, dot means continue the pattern. Continue what pattern? The pattern established by these first three numbers here. So one, two, three. Uh, it looks like I'm just listing out these numbers here. One, two, three, the next one's gonna be four, then five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. All the way up until 998, 999. Okay, so what's the cardinality of B? Well, remember the cardinality is the uh, number of elements in the set. Okay, so how many numbers are there? Well, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, and so on and so forth. Uh, 998, 999. This is actually a count of how many there are. Okay, so 1, there's one element. 2, there's two elements. 3, there's three elements. The next one would be 4, that's the fourth element. The next one is 5, the fifth element. And so on and so forth. 998, that's the 998th element. Here's the 999th element. Okay, so there are 999 elements in that set. Okay. So yeah, kind of big, but still it's a finite number, right? So uh, B is rather large compared to A especially, but B is still a finite set because it has a finite cardinality, okay? So it, you know, it really is that simple. It's, it's kind of straightforward. Um, just a finite set is just a set with finite cardinality. Okay? So uh, likewise, and also not really surprising here, um, an infinite set, Uh, an infinite set is a set with uh, infinite cardinality. Okay, so an infinite set is a set with infinite cardinality. So it's, you know, a pretty analogous definition. Can we zoom out a bit here? A little bit, yeah. So a finite set is a set with finite cardinality. Saw a couple quick examples here. Um, and an infinite set is a set with infinite cardinality. So what are some examples here? So this will be uh, example two. Okay, we can call that part A and part B. So part A, uh, let's say we have, um, let's call this set E. Okay, and this set's gonna be uh, two, four, six, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so what is this? This is uh, two, four, six, remember dot, dot, dot means continue the pattern. Okay, continue the pattern, continue what pattern? the pattern established by these first three numbers here. Two, four, six. If I continue the pattern, what's next? Eight, then 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, so on and so forth. So first, just a quick little exercise here. What if we want to describe that in set builder notation? That would be x such that x is a positive uh, even number. So remember we did set builder notation in an earlier video. Okay, x such that x is a positive even number. Okay. So that's just a quick review of set builder notation there. So variable name, defining property, and this colon means such that. Okay. So anyway, uh, E is 2, 4, 6, dot, dot, dot. So what's the cardinality of E? Well, it's just infinite, right? How many positive even numbers are there? There's infinitely many. Okay, this dot, dot, dot means we just keep going on forever. Okay, now up here, dot, dot, dot means continue the pattern until we get here and then stop at this guy over here, okay, because that's the last one we list. But over here, dot, 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 continue the pattern, there's nothing after that. So we just keep going and going and going. We never stop. So the cardinality of E, uh, it's infinite. 
So we denote that with the infinity symbol here. Okay, so remember that just means uh, infinity. Okay, so that's, uh, this is just the symbol for infinity, so kind of like an eight uh, that fell over on its side. So that's uh, the infinity symbol there. Okay. So cardinality B is infinite, so this is an example of an infinite set. Okay. Um, part B, uh, let's say we have a set, so we'll call it S. Uh, let's say we have, I don't know, um, negative one, negative two, negative three, uh, dot, dot, dot. Okay. So again, this dot, dot, dot means just continue the pattern. What pattern? The pattern established by these first uh, three numbers here. So negative one, negative two, negative three. I'll bet the next one's going to be negative four, then negative five, negative six, and so on and so forth. So we won't do the set builder notation thing here. But, um, what is the cardinality of s? Well, it's, it's infinite, right? Because remember, this just means continue the pattern, continue it uh, forever and ever, because we don't have a stopping point listed after the dot, dot, dot. Okay, there's no stopping point listed after the ellipses here. Okay, so no stopping point, we just continue forever and ever. Um, if we keep doing this, are we ever going to run out of numbers? No. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on and so forth. Um, we'll never run out of numbers. We'll always have more numbers to do this with. Okay, so the cardinality of this is infinity. And again, we denote that like this, pretty much just an 8 that fell over on its side. So that's the infinity symbol there. Okay, so that's um, the notion of a finite set and the notion of an infinite set with a couple quick examples here.